All right. As a first step of the RPA challenge, we will see how to handle dynamic UI elements on the web page. First of all, I need to add the UI elements. On the top right hand side of the Power Automate desktop, we'll find UI elements. Let's select that. And then we are going to add new UI elements. I'm just going to be adding all these UI elements freshly because of I have taken a new desktop flow with the name of RPA challenge. All right. Before going to add UI elements, I'm going to open my browser and then I'm going to give the URL as rpachallenge.com. Now over here, these are all the form fields which are changing dynamically. I want to capture these UI elements by using add UI element from my Power Automate desktop. Let's select add UI element. And then by using UI element picker, I'm going to capture all these UI elements step by step. All right, for the first thing, I'm going to use first name. I'm going to capture first name by using control plus left mouse click to add the UI elements. There you can see for the first name, I got input text fbblm this is the id over here for this particular first name ui element second one i'm going to capture last name and then i'm going to use company name fourth one role in company fifth one address sixth one email id and last form field is phone number and once all has been captured the final one i need to submit the button for the data Right. I'm going to capture this input submit by clicking on control and left mouse click. There you can see I got input as submit. Once you have captured all the form fields, then click on done. As the first step, I'm going to rename all these UI elements. How can I go ahead and rename it? Just click on F2 from your keyboard and then I'm going to give it as the name as input. As a best practice, you have to give it as input or button or whatnot based on the form field they are having. Now, this is the input so that I'm going to give it as input underscore first name. This is the best practice. You can do it. Another one, second one is the input for the last name. There you can see I can get all the images related to this UI element so that I'm going to give it as input underscore last underscore name. The third one is the company name. I'm going to click on F2 and then I'm going to give the UI element name as input underscore company underscore name. Fourth one, role in company so that I'm going to select it as input and I'm going to rename it as input underscore role underscore company. All right. The fifth one, I'm going to make it the changes as address that is input underscore address next one is the email input underscore email last one of the form fields that is phone number i'm going to give it as input underscore p underscore number or it is better to give the full names that is input underscore phone underscore number and finally we have selected the button so that i'm going to make the change it as f2 i'm going to give it as button underscore what is the name of that? I'm going to give it as submit. Now we have renamed all the UI elements such as first name, last name, company name, role company, input address, email, phone number. And finally, we have renamed the button also.